Hello guys, it's um, May the 7th, uh, 2023. Uh, just moved some cows onto some fresh grass. Um, this is the group that I, the last video I did was talking about how we had just quit feeding hay. I don't remember the exact date on that, but um, I've been moving these guys about every four days to fresh grass and I'll uh, show you a video of kind of what things look like. This field definitely has the best grass. It's probably, oh, I don't know, 12 to 18 inches tall. I'm gonna leave them in here for about four days and then move them out. Uh, so anyway, these are the fall calving cows. So I'll show you guys what they look like now. They've probably gained, I feel like they've gained 50 to 100 pounds since I started rotating them. That's Rose, that's Eli's cow. Again, still have the bulls in here. I'm gonna move them out, sort some on a preg check and wean calves probably next week or the week after. So again, the, the K's are uh, weanlings, they're getting ready to be weanlings. Uh, J's are a year old, uh, a year and a half old. H's our first calf peppers that had a calf last fall. This is the field we just moved them out of. You can see there's a lot of grass here, but if you look closer, probably hard to tell, but I mean, some of the grass they've eaten pretty short. They've grazed this. Some of this taller stuff is, is grass, you know, the stem and starting to go to seed. Um, Guys, some of you may already know this, but I was going to go over some basic grass ID. So this, that is bluegrass. You can see it has a little bit of a purple tint to the seed head. And the seed head kind of fans out like a Christmas tree. Um, this is orchard grass. See how orchard grass, the seed heads are kind of in clumps. orchard grass uh, the fescue actually I don't think has gone to seed yet uh, that's actually fescue that's fescue uh, clover obviously you have red and white clover that's probably red clover it's hard to tell for sure until it goes to seed um, I will point, point out some poisonous plants this is hemlock. Uh, this is poison hemlock. Uh, cows usually won't eat it, but it is toxic. Um, but the cows typically won't eat it. It does tend to like to grow in areas where you fed hay, um, at least in my experience. Um, so yeah, that's not ideal, but there is some in here. Uh, you see some other patches, that's poison hemlock there. Um, little bit of uh, some other weeds there uh, so yeah so anyway gives you an idea of what things look like after coming off a of pasture so I, ideally I'd like to give this 25 to 30 days of rest before I come back on to it um, we'll just kind of have to see we did get some rain last night we've been kind of short on rain lately so we finally got some rain so hopefully we'll get some good regrowth all right, guys, so I'm done here for the day. Uh, hope you guys have a good day, and we'll see you all later.